The only thing these three hot chocolate recipes have in common, whipped cream. My name is Vanessa. I am a little under the weather, but I am really excited to share three different flavored hot chocolates. So my oldest daughter absolutely loves hot chocolate. She makes a cup almost every single morning, even when it's not winter, when it's not cold, in the summertime. She loves hot chocolate. So I wanted to try out some different flavors and introduce her to, I don't, I wouldn't say gourmet, but just different than your just typical hot chocolate. My three younger kids are getting into hot chocolate, so this was the perfect time to try these out. So I'm going to get right into recipe number one. The first one we're making, it's actually in the crock pot. The other two are going to be on the stove, but I wanted to try one out in the crock pot. So this one is going to be a peanut butter hot chocolate. So for this recipe, you're going to need nine cups of milk. I am using whole milk. That definitely gives your hot chocolate a richer taste. Then I'm gonna be using one cup of cocoa powder, one cup of sugar. One thing you don't see yet is you're also going to need two cups of hot water, a quarter cup of chocolate syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then half a cup of creamy peanut butter. First, we're going to add the milk to the crock pot. I already have five cups in there. Now I'm adding the other four. Then your two cups of hot water, one cup of cocoa powder, one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of the chocolate syrup, and the one teaspoon of vanilla. We are going to hold off on the peanut butter right now. Now you're just going to mix all of this together, get that cocoa powder completely combined with everything. Put your lid on. Now you could cook this on low for three to four hours. I am gonna go ahead and do high for two hours. Winter two hours is up. I'm probably going to need a spoon. <laughs> but get your peanut butter, your creamy peanut butter in here, whisk it up really well, put the cover back on, and cook it for another 20 minutes on high. Chocolate peanut butter, hot chocolate, is ready to go. I just topped it with some whipped cream and then I had some peanuts on hand, so I went ahead and did that as well. So if you guys just wanted normal hot chocolate, this also is good for that. You just don't add the peanut butter in for the last 20 minutes. You just make it as is, no peanut butter. So this is kind of a two in one. You've got hot chocolate, add peanut butter, and it becomes peanut butter hot chocolate. But this is definitely for those who love Reese's peanut butter cups. Like I said, the next two are going to be on the stove top. So first on the stove, we're going to be making some white chocolate, hot chocolate. And for this recipe, you're going to need three cups of milk. Again, I am using whole milk. You don't have to, you can use whatever milk you want. I just prefer whole milk in hot chocolate. Then you're gonna need one cup of half and half or heavy cream. I'm using heavy cream about eight ounces of white chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and use this whole bag because it's 11 ounces. It's just gonna make it a little bit more chocolatey, but if you can find it in eight ounce, that's really all you need. Also going to be adding one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and just a pinch of salt. Most hot chocolates are just dump and go, and that's exactly what this one is. So I'm going to get all my ingredients in my medium-sized pot. Once you've got all your ingredients in your pot, you are going to want to heat it over medium high heat. I'm putting mine out about a six if yours is numbered. And this one is, you since it has the chocolate chips in here, once this heats up, you do need to whisk it constantly. You don't want the chocolate chips to burn on the bottom and you want them to melt evenly. You do not want your mixture to come to a boil at all. So if this is too hot, definitely turn it down. You just want it to be simmering hot enough for the chocolate chips to melt. And there you have it, the white chocolate, hot chocolate. You see how fast the uh, whipped topping melts? <laughs> It was standing up nice and straight, but of course you wanna put it on when it's nice and hot so it melts into the hot chocolate and tastes really yummy. So this was definitely 
quick. Those white chocolate chips only took maybe five, 10 minutes most to melt and get nice and creamy. So yum, yum. But this is hot chocolate and number two. This last hot chocolate is actually a copycat of something that Starbucks offers. It's called the salted caramel hot chocolate. Now, I have never purchased that from Starbucks, so I'm just kind of recreating the flavors here. I love salted caramel drinks, but I am definitely more of a coffee drinker. But my kids love hot chocolate, so that's why we are trying out some different flavors just to see if they <laughs> like them all. Uh, my oldest daughter loves salted caramel, so I thought this would be one that she would enjoy. So for this recipe, you are going to need four cups of milk. I am using whole milk, just like the other two. I just feel like it gives the hot chocolate a creamier and thicker feel to it um, versus using any other kind of milk. But you can use whatever kind you want. They're still all going to taste very yummy. So along with that, I'm going to be using a half cup of sugar, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, I am going to be using a little bit of water. This is about, let's see, what do I have in here? A third cup. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to use two tablespoons of hazelnut syrup. Now, I'm pretty sure the syrup that Starbucks uses is like a toffee nut, um, but this is a hazelnut, so <laughs> that's what I'm using. You could also use caramel if you really wanted that caramel taste to be front and center. So instead of hazelnut, you could use caramel syrup, but I am going to use the hazelnut. Also going to use two tablespoons of caramel sauce and some salt. So this one makes about the same as the second one, not a huge crock pot um, worth unless you double or triple the recipe. So this is definitely more for my family size. So I am adding my sugar in my medium sized saucepan along with the cocoa powder and one teaspoon of the salt. And I am just going to mix that up in here before we add anything else. I'm gonna add my water, mix that up. Once I've got all that mixed up, now I have it on medium heat, about six, if yours is numbered, mine is numbered, and I'm going to let that come to a boil. Once your mixture comes to a boil, let it boil for about one minute. After your minute is up, add your milk. Turn your heat down to about four, like a medium low, and you are just heating this up. You just wanna make sure that that milk gets nice and warm here in the pot. Once your hot chocolate is heated all the way through, now we're gonna add some extra flavors. The one teaspoon of vanilla, one, two tablespoons of the hazelnut syrup, one, two tablespoons of the caramel sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my tablespoon in here since caramel sauce is pretty sticky. Get all of that off of my tablespoon. Then you're just going to mix your hot chocolate, stir it, get all those flavors nice and combined into the hot chocolate. Salted caramel hot chocolate done. So I have topped it with whipped cream, drizzled a little extra caramel sauce, and sprinkled a little extra salt on top, really to just top off that salted caramel flavor. It's all done. Enjoy. So my favorite was definitely the last one, the salted caramel. I just love those flavors together. Definitely, you can taste the salt, so just, I wanted to point that out. If you guys are not really into salty, you're more of a sweet, you could totally leave that salt out and make it with just the caramel hot chocolate. It's really good. I would definitely recommend it, giving them a try. I think my husband's favorite was the white chocolate because that's what he orders at Starbucks, the white chocolate mocha 
yeah, the hot drink, um, even though it has coffee in it, he still really enjoyed just the hot chocolate mixture. So give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are hot chocolate drinkers. Oh, my kids like them all. They're not super picky when it comes to sweet drinks. They like them all. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join my YouTube family here. I have a lot of recipes and yummy goodness coming your way. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.